Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Give me a bit. No, to get on. <laughs> Sorry. Don't want to Well, I think on a time on the, on the council, seldom have I um, been so irate about a few lines on a piece of paper. I would say that this uh, motion or this change to the Constitution was mad, bad and dangerous. Mad, because I can't see the point of it. Somebody said to me, oh, it needs to save money. Well, as far as I know, there's been seven items placed on the Constitution, on, onto the agendas, and only two of them have taken officers time over a period of about eight years. So I can't see where money can be saved. So why is it being done? It's erosion of my freedom. I represent Killing West. I will not be told by Councillor Cullen what I can or cannot put on an agenda. That is totally unfair. He's no better nor worse than I. This is very divisive. It makes a chairman more equal than me. So how do I get an agenda right tomorrow? Have a gin and tonic dear boy, pop it on. Is that not heading towards corruption? Well, as we come towards this part of the year, when we remember the year that's gone through and all the other things that have gone through in our history, to give us the freedom of speech. To give just a teeny weeny bit of that away so cheaply is an absolute insult to those that have given so much for, for our freedom. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll make the quote and answer that one. The best way to take control over a people and control them utterly to take a little of their freedom at a time, to erode rights by a thousand tiny and almost imperceptible reductions. In this way, the people will not see those rights and freedoms being removed until past the point at which these changes cannot be reversed. Adolf Hitler, Councillor. Thank you so much.